the job with ease mm. against the defending African champions. And I used to say, if you can beat the current African champions with so, much, with so little stress, it means if we were at the last AFCON, we would have been the champions. And uh, some, someone uh, jokingly said to me this evening, why did Cameroon win the Nations Cup? And the other gentleman answered, because Nigeria didn't play at that tournament. <laughs> because the way, it, we, we looked like a bulldozer without mm, control. We, mm. We're taking the game to the Cameroonians. They didn't just know what hit them. And mm. it, it's great that um, we're, we're almost there to at the World Cup because mm. you want the Super Eagles to play yeah. at the World Cup. And it's, it's, it's sad that um, the, comp the country that has represented Africa at mm. the world stage mm. more than any other African That's country right will not be at the 2018 World Cup in Russia. But what, what do we care? Yeah. We're excited that Nigeria is going uh, there. Because <laughs> we've missed the AFCON mm -hmm. uh, twice. Yeah, that's, that's the word. In your book, Monday, uh, said it rightly. The Super Eagles of Nigeria got the job done. One, two, three. And we thought that was enough. The cake was baked. And Kelechi and Enacho said, look, icing on, on the, the cake. cake. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make it fall. We're still going to keep talking about that one. But look, the Super Eagles are beginning to gather fans again. Mm. Everyone believing once again that the Super Eagles cannot just fly, they can soar. Let's see the number one supporter of the Super Eagles of Nigeria. That's the president himself Ooh. watching the game that was played today. Brilliant. Number one supporter. Brilliant. Mm. Absolutely, ab absolutely brilliant. We we, we we understand that the Honorable Minister of Sports conveyed the message from the from the president earlier on to the players saying the president wants you to go out there and represent the nation with real pride and real passion. That's right. And that's what the players have done. They mm. they've gone there and for for once in a very long time, you could see that the players are not playing for money. They're not playing to make a name. They're playing for the nation. They're playing for the green, white, green. It's, it is. It's, it's fantastic That's to see that um, the, the number one citizen mm. is the number one fan of the mm. Super Eagles. I know. What better motivation do you need, apart, it, apart from the thousands of dollars flowing all over the place? I mean, the aides <laughs> come and say, Mr. President, you need to sign this. Not now. <laughs> Hello. I'm busy with the Super Eagles. <laughs> for 90 minutes, they attack. Look, I mean, if the number one citizen is giving this much attention to the Super Eagles, then all he's trying to say to us is support the team. We're, we're, we're moving in the right direction, mm. of course, and I can say that for free. Um, the, 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 the football in our country, all of a sudden there's a lot of momentum with Super Eagles, mm. there's a lot of excitement, mm. because when we're going back to where we used to be in the, in the years gone by, yeah. Nigeria used to be a football country hmm. with a great football culture. We go onto the football field and we show real identity. That's we we what play it with is. zest. Mm. We play with enthusiasm. The fans are, there, are getting on our backs, supporting us. And it's just brilliant mm. because I feel that we're, we're taking over African football again. And, and that's not being hasty because I'm seeing the younger generation coming through. Yeah. William Trustekong, mm. you look at Mikel Agu, you look at Ab Abdullah Isher, who had um, right back. You're looking at the younger players, the yeah. age of this players, and it gives you a lot of hope, Austin, because mm. in another two, th three, four years, yeah. some of these players who are barely, who are barely played 10, 15 matches for the Super Eagles would have had 20, 30 caps, mm. and you cannot legislate on what they'll achieve in the future. I know. That, that was the first leg in New York when they were filing out, no smiling. Mm. Cameroonians, oh, you guys say you are the Lions, right? Okay, when the Eagle is ready to mm. fly, I want to see how you can catch. And that's what they did. Let's analyze that first game uh, in your bunk. Uh, 4-0, it looked so easy. Believe me, no one saw it coming. I, I, say, I said it last Monday, also, and I'll say it again. There was a, there was a difference in in the Super Eagles team that played against um, South Africa and the team that played against Cameroon. Look mm. at that first goal. Mm. And that difference mm. had to be the experience of mm. Moses and Mikel and Odion Igalo. Wow. Look at the ball from Mikel. It'll be a great wow. ball. One but time. Give credit to Odion Igalo. He's been much maligned, but he showed great presence of mind and, and great strength to be able to shield the defender mm. and strike the ball home. It was absolutely brilliant. The combination between Mikel Moses and Odion Igalo on the day was top-notch. This is the second goal. Look at Odion Igalo. Look at the that, dummy. That combination again. Uh -huh. The cross from Victor Moses, the dummy from Odion Igalo, and the side who finish from Mikel Obi. It doesn't get better than that. No. And when you have old heads in a team, fantastic celebration there from Ike Chugizemba. He must have been reading newspaper on the day, on, on the day because he was largely on trouble. Mm. When you have old heads in the team, who are telling the younger players, you need to be here, you need to be doing that. Leading from the front, leading by example. Mikel will be, you could see Moses, track him back. Wow. There's so much passion to play for the nation. And 
it, it was fantastic to see and Gunnar Raw. I've not seen him this happy because <laughs> when you have this sort now of look at this movement from Mikel to Moses, three Nigerian players broke down the the wall of the Cameroonian. It, and it was a five. classical example of turning <laughs> defense into attack oh going forward. It was brilliant because as soon as Moses got on the ball and Moses Simon peeled off his marker you could almost sense that they knew what they were going to do and the minute moses um victor moses dropped the ball to moses simon the cutback was absolutely spot wow, on and wow. moses just swept it on it it's the best bit of counter-attacking i know you could see and i was at the stadium watching and while i was saying this is awesome wait for the fourth goal same movement between victor moses and again your nazi fantastic run well timed by Kelechi Enacho and the score. Look, if we see the Super Eagles play this sort of football consistently, no one will come close enough. Absolutely. And I, I always say that the performance has got to be right. People talk about results. You want to get results, obviously. But if you are playing well, obviously, the, the results will start coming in. And I saw a Super Eagles play um, football with, with so much purpose. You're talking about the fourth goal. Wow. Look at Victor Moses. Wow. Again, you're nazi. Wow. Just pinpoint accuracy. Wow. Wow. The passes were, were, were short and very nice. Mm. At some point, I felt I was watching the Spanish national team because the Super Eagles kept the ball on the turf and moved it around with a lot of zest, with a lot of, of fluidity. And it was great to see the fans enjoy football. It wasn't just about the goals. Yeah. It was about the goal, the yeah. movement, yeah, the I passing, know. the excitement. At some point, the, the Super Eagles players started wanting to show both little bit started giving the fans something to cheer about and this is going in the right step and uh, we're no. just excited it, uh, it's no. exciting time for uh, the super no. eagles and if i leave you we talk about <laughs> this one's really for the entire show and that's what it is the super eagles of nigeria are doing at the impossible against cameroon in that first leg where you not entertained were you not excited after that 4 0 victory? Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll try to establish some connection with the team in Yaoundé. Don't go anywhere, stay.